And we've got a clinical case, my beloved. 24 year, 24 year old woman presents with the well demarcated, depigmented patches on her hands and face. She reports no itching or, or pain. Okay, so on examinations, the lesions are non scaly and symmetrical. Non scaly and symmetrical. Her mother that has hypothyroidism. Family history. Hypothyroidism. Which of the following is the most important additional investigation to perform in this patient? Okay. Options are skin biopsy, serum thyroid stimulating hormone level, yes, TSH, anti nuclear antibody, ANA, huh? ANA, ANA test, no, fasting blood glucose. Actually, good question, but the correct option is, my opinion, is a serum thyroid stimulating hormone. And that's correct. So what's our rationale? Vitilo, vitiligo is strongly associated with autoimmune thyroid disease because it's autoimmune disorder. And thyroid function testing is a crucial in the evaluation of such patients, of these patients. So about another options, what we've got? Skin biopsy. A biopsy can confirm vitiligo histologically, showing absence of melanocytes. But in a classic presentation with symmetrical depigmented patches, biopsy is usually unnecessary. But what for? So the diagnostic is clinical, so this, add, uh, this adds little value compared to checking for associating systemic disease. Option B, and this was correct option, serum thyroid stimulating hormone level. It's a correct option. Vitiligo has strong links to autoimmune thyroid disorders, Hashimoto thyroiditis, Graves disease. Screening with this age is crucial since treating thyroid disease improves overall management. Anti-nuclear antibody test, ANA. So ANA, ANA, screens for systemic autoimmune disease like, for example, lupus. Although vitiligo can coexist with other autoimmune dis disorders, thyroid disease is far more common and much more relevant to patient safety. So ANA would be a second line test, but not the first. But actually, why not? Fasting blood glucose, vitiligo is weakly associated with type 1 diabetes, but not as strongly as strongly as with thyroid disease. Uh, diabetes screening is reasonable in select cases, but thyroid testing has higher yield and clinical priority. So summary, biopsy not needed, classic clinical features. ANA, not first line, how a low yield compared to thyroid screen. Fasting glucose, less common association. TSH, best test most clinically useful, okay, stay blessed.